but I want to tell you. Amen. Be careful of people around you. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, man of God. Be careful around people around you because many of them they're not living right. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. And there are things that God wants to do with you, but be careful about these people. Amen. That are calling themselves prophets. Thank you, man of God. Huh? Thank you, man of God. So if you do that, God will be able to lift you up. Amen. So be careful of what? People around me. People around you. Yes. Because you want God to use you. Yes. I'm not saying you're cold. I'm saying you want God to use you. Amen. But be careful about people around you. Amen. Pray for me, man. Can you confirm what you were saying? Man of Can you confirm the prophecy? Yes, the prophecy is true. God want I want to be used by God. Uh, even yesterday you prophesied to me that people that surround me, they are against me. And it's true. Uh, he was not there. Huh? He was not there. He was not there. Yes, people that surround me from the church where I come from, because now I'm having my own ministry, so they turn against me. Even, <laughs> man of God, I'm in public and I don't want to say some of these things in public. So, it means the prophecy is true. It's true, yes. Yes, he was not there when I met you. You could see how God works. Issue of your children... You hear me? Did you hear what I said? I'm saying, issue of your children. Don't worry about it. Huh? Yes. So, come here, let me pray for you. God will, will, will make a way. So, I'm trying to look at you. There's nothing in the house. Yeah. Come, let's go together. I want to pray for you because, you know, your situation has touched my heart. You can stay, stand here. Say amen. amen. Come out, you demon. Lift him up. Come out. Yeah. Come on, you demon! Come on! Come on! Leave this man, you demon! Come on! Come on! In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out, you demon. In Jesus' name. You're free. These people that are feeding you every night, they won't come anymore. You're free. My, my name is Paul. The prophet that I have received is true. Is it true what they told you? Yes, yes, it's true. I have mean, I've been trying uh, many things to work out for my kids. So things that are tough. That is the prophet, the prophet they understand by saying is it true. Yes, yes, I can confirm. I can confirm that is it true. And how did it affect you spiritually, physically, while you're trying to do things and nothing is moving? Is affected. Was affected. I was so affected too, so much. I was too much affected. 
But right now, I believe as I have got a, a weight and I have been, I have been prayed for me, it will pass everything. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I want to, I want to locate people that, you know, they have lost hope in this thing called life. Are you hearing me? And if God can bless such people, what about you who's complaining about a race at work? Huh? Can I do that? Yes. What about you who's complaining about a race? That I need a race, I need a race. From your salary. My brother, I want to pray for you. And God has forgiven you. Amen. God has forgiven your past. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. Because I saw some people that, you know, because of what was happening, they went to take something. It's like someone went to a sangoma against your life. Amen. Because of what you did. That's true, man. Of huh? God. That's true, man. Of God. So I want to pray for you, people like you. I want to be. I want you people to be an example. Amen. Because you are following God, following God, you must be an example. Amen. To the whole family. Amen. And God has forgiven you. There are doors that the Holy Spirit is opening today. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Because you struggle a lot. It's true, man of God. Huh? That's true, man of God. The struggle is over. Amen. My name is Zukimabu and I'm coming from Guyane. What a man of God has said to me is true. Because when I remember, I think 2006, uh, I did something wrong to someone, then he told me that he was going to Sango. So that's true what the man of God is saying. And how did it affect you after him saying that? I, my life was terrible. There's nothing was coming all right. So what the man of God has said is true. And how are you feeling today as you have known and the, as you have been told that God has forgiven you? I'm feeling relieved. I'm feeling blessed because almost every day it was disaster upon my life. It was actual attacks almost every day when I'm sleeping. Yeah. And as today, as I believe that you are free, what are the words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there? I encourage people to believe unto God. The power of God is being displayed right here inside of this house. So I encourage people over there to come and attend. Can you just confirm your the prophecy? Yeah, what he said is true. Because I think it was in 2006, I was in a legal activities. So the person told me that he's going to attend a Sangom. Then my things were not working out. So I believe it's true, the prophecy. You believe it's true or it's true? It's true. So can you confirm? Uh, it was in 2006 in OR Tambo. Uh, I, was, I used to send a, a package in an illegal way. So I never sent the, the passenger staff. So I just took the staff to here in Tembisa. And then when the passenger, he fly, then he came back, then he told me that he's going to a Sango because he never received his staff. So you can hear that. This is a, something that is so deep, this one. Okay. I just want to congratulate you. God bless you. There's a problem here. Huh? It's true, man of God. Wait. There's a problem here at the back here. Hmm. But there's a major problem. Hmm. Oh, you hear me? Because I'm seeing you falling. Hmm. Huh? Yes. I'm seeing you falling. This is like a spirit of, what is this? It's like epilepsy. Yes. Huh? Yes, man of God. And this thing... It's causing the whole of your body to be painful. Yes. Huh? Yes. You came here with who? Who did you come here with? And I believe you are healed. Eh? Yes, oh, my Lord. Yes. You must go home. You know that God has healed you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because I don't know. I'm just seeing a surname that starts with. Is it X? Huh? Yes. Kalabile. Kalabile. Eh? Kalabile. Kalabile. Eh. So I want to pray for you. They just prayed for you. You are healed. 
Thank you. This, this, this epilepsy has left you today. Amen. Thank you, man of God. Amen. Hallelujah. It's true, man. I'm Kidiboni Kalabile from Brantford. This prophecy is true. We, yes. Why are you saying it's true? Because all of these things, men of God, is true. It's true. Okay. And how are you feeling today as the man of God was able to locate you and speak about the things that are really happening in your life? I hear my my body comes. How can I say? I hear my body comes at least uh, very good. Yes, ma'am. And what can you say to the viewers out there? I believe that today the Almighty God has done it for you in Jesus' name. Uh, uh, I can say, God is my savior. I thanks all of this at my Savior, God. Hey. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you, Mommy. I thank you, Mommy. Mama, can you confirm? Eh, what that um put is? Yeah. Uba nge ko pa mi nangi teta now. Eh, gali. Hey. something lapa. We tetile and I. We We My sister, there's a spirit of rejection. Are you hearing me? Amen. There's a spirit of rejection that in everything that you want to do, it's like you, you, your life is caged like this. Amen. Huh? Yes. Where's your husband? I don't have a husband. Huh? I don't have. You can't have a husband because even now, for you to be alive is by the grace of God. Amen. Huh? Yes. There was a time when the devil wanted to kill you. Are you hearing me? Amen. Even when you're still young, it's like you people, your family, you must thank God that you are following God now. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You came here with you alone. Yes. I want to pray for you and your life will start moving today. Amen. Amen. You're free, you'll make it. I'm coming from Pushback Ridge, but I'm staying here at Tembisa on Mandela. The prophecy is true because we are rejected always. In our family, no one is married and the people are dying at home. Yeah. And how did it affect you? It affects me a lot. Mm. Spiritually, physically, were you able to pray like before? Tell us your experience, what was really happening in your life because of this situation? I'm, I failing to pray. I decided to not coming to church because I see that maybe God is not with us because in our family, our parents passed away. My sister, that said, the son of my sister and the daughter also passed away. Mm. And how are you feeling today as the man of God has spoken unto your life? I'm feeling happy today because he talked to me. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you. Thank you. You need to pray. Are you hearing me? Yes. You need to pray because of what was happening in the past. Hmm? So there are days to discourage you. Yes. Huh? Yeah. 
You know, you need to pray so that you must not go back where you come from. Okay. You know what what used to happen in the past. Yes. Huh? Yes. So I pray that you must not go back. And this this thing that is people that are bringing plates feeding you. Just pray that you don't go back. Because your spirit sometimes goes down. Very down. Huh? Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. So I don't want to remind you what was happening. You know very well. Yes. And God has loved you. And you you need to hold on. Like everyone has got a demon here. you at the back. No. I set you free in Jesus' name. You're free. Uh, my name is Azwindi Nimasindi. I'm from Venda. Yes. Come from the prophecy. Well, everything that was spoken is very true. Yes. Refer it back to your life. What is really happening in your life that makes you to say the prophecy is true? Oh, my life was so mixed up to the extent where I didn't even know what was going on with my life myself until I came to this place. Yes. Uh, when they prayed for you, a demon manifested and the, the demon was saying they want you to come back home. Were you always having a desire of going back home? Yes, they are calling me to come back home because yeah, everything is just stopped. There's nothing coming in. My life is dark. And how did it affect you spiritually, physically? Spiritually, it affected me spiritually because the people that uh, used to support me, they just stopped also. That's why they said it's better I move to another place. In fact, they was, wanted me to go to stay in Cape Town where there's a free home at least let, just, let me just say that yes. and how are you feeling today as they spoken unto your life oh i'm revived because honestly speaking i was so down for the past i think this thing started in november last year since then i've never been myself yes even to come to church for me i was just pushing myself mm, yes and as I believe that today they've prayed for you and you are revived, I believe that there's somebody out there who are facing the very same situation that you're facing. What can you say to them? What I can say is just hold on to Jesus. It's the only answer because even myself, I was told, told myself or I'm going to just stay here until something come up. I was not going to go. I was just not going to go home. Yes, yes. We give glory because in Jesus there's everything. I know discouragement and stuff can be there, but I know the solution is here. Amen. Thank you. Stay blessed. Thank you very much. She's free. Lift her up. 
stand up, sissy. There's a child. Huh? Amen. Where's your child? At home. You need to pray, you know, because there are times where the devil wants to kill this child. Amen. Are you hearing me? Amen. You need to pray. Is it, is it a boy? It's a girl. It's a girl. You don't have a boy? A boy. Huh? Yes. Huh? And a boy. And a boy. Yes. What I'm saying, why are you saying it's a girl when I'm saying a boy? So you need to pray for them. And you must never allow the devil to discourage you about what happened. Are you hearing me? You are in charis here. Whether well, there's two children, you'll marry in Jesus' name. And if you are a devout man of God, one prophet or a Muslim, you will never turn to the world. The hotel is on the phone, and the children are not going to be able to get the children. And all these things, how did they affect you? And also the man of God spoke about marriage. Are you looking for marriage? Yes. And to disappoint you. Well, I'm not going to maybe. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you. Amen. I live in Mami Lodi. I told you today, I want God to lift. The people of those, you know, uh, those that are hopeless. Say amen. amen. You, you have suffered a lot, but I'm seeing you in Mami Lodi. I stay in Mami Lodi. You, you stay in Mami Lodi? Yes. So I want to pray for you because you're just living by the grace of God. It's true. Huh? Can need. So I'll pray for you and God will help you. And I believe by helping you, God will be helping the whole family. Are you hearing me? Amen. No more this suffering. In Jesus' name. Come on. I set you free. Let the grace of God locate you and change your life. In Jesus' mighty name. You're free. Kelly Bitola Gagin Naruthi, Gina Mamilodi, Prophecy Egi Receiving, Gineti Veil, Hobia Hobia Vele, Pilobaga like a Castragil, and Tongaling like it's Hansok, where he had the Horgigri, Limberg, Verekang, Asi and Mid, and then get a player, Goody Petlela, Good University, a Gigger Merek. Today, the man of God spoke to you. Before the man of God spoke to you, how did it affect you spiritually, physically? Were you able to pray? What was really happening to your life because of all these things that are happening to you? Okay, like a professional, and then it affected you because of the Lord. I'm profiting on a fellow in need for Pelobaga. So we felt. And to go, Zhang Hanano, after they've prayed for you. Kifila sha, kifila oraidi kibiliwa hormoji muka yana professor utla chenge chapo pelobaga, butla ba beta. 